guys welcome back to the channel i'm cassandra and today i'll be doing a video of what i do while i breastfeed or breast pump while having a newborn so just to start off i'm no lactation counselor whatsoever i just want to do a video of what i've done and what has worked for me so far just because a lot of people have been asking me what i've done and how i store enough milk because i have been posting it on my instagram and if you're not following me on instagram Make sure you follow me and it'll be down below. Um, so, so far, I started storing milk on August the 3rd. And so far today is the 18th. But as of yesterday, last night, I have 370 ounces of breast milk stored. Which I'm kind of proud of it. <laughs> just because it took me three years and I think three kids, three daughters, for me to get to where I know what to do now and what to avoid and what not. So this video will be just explaining to you what I do, what has helped, what has not helped me, and hopefully some of this will help you. I'll start off with the with the most simple stuff. So I'll start off with the breastfeeding essentials. Main the main stuff that I have been using, because I know there's like a lot of things. There's like nipple cream and whatnot. I have never used that. Either way, if you do have like cuts on your nipples, I know there's like a TMI, but like this is like the real life. So if you do have like cuts on your nipples, my mom has always told me that the baby will heal it by itself with their saliva instead of using nipple cream i don't i've never believed that so i just go with the things that my mom tells me so i just go with that and it's worked so that's fine with me so the, one of the breastfeeding essentials that i have used is an electric pump and i have the just the last one i hope i'm saying it right and no i was not saying it right it's last um last has been the pump that i've used since scarlet so every single time i've given birth my insurance covers and pump that i can get so every single time i've gotten a different one and i have not liked any of them i've used the medela ones and i hated it because my breast milk would go into the straws and it would just be going in and out and it wouldn't pump right so it was just a lot of cleaning and a lot of extra stuff that i had to do that i just did not have the time for last one has been the one that has helped me and it's pretty cool because the last one I, it even comes with an app that you can download on your phone where you can track everything as, as how much you pump in each side of your boob at what time everything like it has everything tracked so in case you forget when was the last time you pumped it has it already on your app so it's, it's kind of cool i never used it another thing is nursing bras nursing bras are like the best comfortable thing to use while you're breastfeeding just because your boobs get so big and once they're getting big like they get so uncomfortable with um with the wired bra as well the nursing pads nursing pads are, are kind of an essential for me just because once you start getting into routine your boobs start knowing when your boob is gonna suck on them or when you're gonna pump so when you don't literally it'll start leaking by itself another thing is a breast breast milk storage bags and i usually get the same um brand the last one no ones or i get whatever like honestly they're all the same it's just the brands that sometimes they're making more expensive than others but it doesn't really matter because they're all the same literally another thing if you're actually i'm i'm the person that I'll breastfeed my child in public, but I won't be showing my boobs. So I will be using a nurse nursing cover. And those come in every way. So there's like scarves, ones that you can use as like opening them up and like covering them or like the one that you just put around your neck and you just cover them and they're open. I'm just a person that I won't be having my boob all out in front of everyone. I just don't feel comfortable like that. And thank God there's actually stores now where there's a nursing station where you can actually just go and just feed them. So that's amazing. If you are working and you're pumping, I would recommend a insulated ba bag or lunchbox and ice packs because breast milk has to always be cool or frozen it can be out like on the room temperature for up to six hours i believe another essential and this is one of the main essentials that i actually didn't have with scarlet which i regret because i wasted so much breast milk it's a haka and a haka is like a this is like a plastic bottle that you press on your boob or not on your boob but like you press on the bottle and you and it sucks on your boob and while you're feeding the baby on one boob the other the other boob is sucked in by the haka so you're not wasting any breast milk and that is like one of like the best like inventions someone has ever made because i remember with scarlet i would waste so much and i would just put like a, a, a cloth or a cloth on my nipple and it would just be wasting so much breast milk that i could have been saving but after that it's not good so i would just recommend getting a insulated lunch bag what i 
eat to help my supply honestly i really don't have a big list just because they say to eat oatmeal they say to eat like all these like oat stuff or like certain fruits and i honestly the one thing that i have eaten is like oatmeal almonds and avocados avocados i do see a difference when i eat avocados but avocados are expensive and i wish i could eat it all the time but once I start eating it a lot, I get tired of it. But the main, 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 main thing, the main thing is water. Drink so much water. Literally, if you think that you already, you're good with only eight cups of, eight bottles of water or whatever, keep on drinking more. Like the more water you drink, the more you produce. The main thing is water. Well, one thing is coconut water or Gatorade, the blue Gatorade. I don't know why the blue Gatorade, but it does make a big difference. Like it's just weird how it's a blue Gatorade. I've drank this from Gatorades. I don't know if I've actually seen the difference. I actually have not tried that. But water. As long as you're drinking a lot of water, you'll produce milk. But I do have a big list of what I avoid eating while I'm breastfeeding. And this is this starts with Cokes. Any dark like sodas, dark beverages, I don't drink just because it does reduce my supply. Like it does make a difference and it's so sad. And you would expect me to be skinny by now. You would expect me to be skinny without all with all three girls that I've had. But no, I'm still fat. <laughs> but it's not because of this because you get so hungry when you are breastfeeding that you just want to be eating and eating and eating. But I do try to avoid Coke. I have a paper. I have a paper right here, so I keep on looking at that. Can't sleep. I avoid Cokes, any dark drinks, sodas. I will drink. I'll avoid it. I try to drink like water, Sprite, sweet tea. I try to drink more water than anything else. I avoid pepper, parsley, peppermint. Peppermint is such a big thing. Peppermint. I don't know why it reduces your supply, but it does. Citrus food, like any like oranges, mandarin. What is the other one? Grapefruit. Like all of that. It will. I avoid it because I see it as this, as like other stuff, dairy, alcohol, and chocolate, and spicy food. I avoid all of that, and the reason why I avoid that is just like, just how you take it is how it's going to affect the baby. So if I eat, if I drink milk, and I know it's going to make me gassy later on, or I eat ice cream and it's going to make me gassy, the baby's going to make me gassy. So I take it as whatever's gonna affect the baby, what is gonna affect me, I'm not going to eat it for the baby. Like, it's just going to make it worse for me because I'm going to be the one dealing with it. Like one time, I actually ate ice cream from McDonald's. Man, baby was so uncomfortable. Baby was so gassy. And it was just, I could tell that she was like not comfortable. And I had to like be rocking her because she was uncomfortable when she just wanted to be farting. Like I can see a difference. And whatever you know that's going to affect you, don't do it. Don't eat it because then the baby is going to have it. Alcohol is a thing that I avoid <laughs> just because obviously like you can drink while you're breastfeeding. But once you start feeling buzzed is whenever you have to stop. Like that's whenever it's going to affect the baby. There's actually strips for that as well. A beer is a good thing to drink to produce more breast milk. That's what they've said and I've never tried it. I don't like beer so I don't drink it. Chocolate, chocolate does reduce my milk but I still eat it. I try to like limit myself but I love chocolate. I tried to avoid it but it's hard especially when Eric bring his, brings me chocolate out of nowhere and I'm over here eating it but I try to share it with the girls even though I don't like sharing but I have to because I'm a mother and I just have to do it. So the main thing of why how I did it to start storing milk at such a early time. I started storing milk once Kensley was like five days old. Before I start this, I just want to make it clear that it took me like three days for my milk to come down. And that that was kind of fast for me since it is my third and my body's already used to it. But if you're a first time mom, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. So please don't stress about it. If you stress about it, it will make it take longer and you will make less supply of it. So one of the big things is to not stress about it. Try to give her as much as you can. Latch her to your boob as much as you can. Her hem to your boob as much as you can because that is what makes the baby, what, what makes the milk come out faster. So as long as you're latching them, as long as you're pumping as much as you can, the milk will come sooner or later. You just have to be patient. And I know it's super hard, especially in the beginning because babies are like cluster feeding and they just want to be eating all the time. and just want to be on the boob 24 7 even though you think they're not eating they are eating something so that is like one thing that like i remember like i was stressed so much with scarlet because i was like why is she not drinking enough but she is drinking as wait she's drinking enough of what she wants until once it starts coming down more it will get better like she's like just be patient don't stress about it your the milk will come sooner or later i remember with kenzie i was like 
I was trying not to stress about it because I know it was gonna come sooner or later since I already had the experience. But the first two, three days, you think that they're so hungry, but you put them on the boob and they're there like sucking, but you feel like nothing's coming out, but for them, something is coming out. Just be patient and it will come. So the main thing of what I have done to be able to store 370 ounces of milk and within 14 days is just feeding them on one boo having the haka on one and with just having the haka i would literally save like from one to three ounces of milk just on the haka and then vice versa it's just like in one feeding i'll put it on my right and then another feeding i'll put it on my left so it just goes back and forth back and forth so i can have the haka on one side and literally from just the haka by itself i've saved i usually save around 16 ounces of milk just on that and then and that's what i do during the day and then once she's she's done feeding I'm, I'm done feeding her i'll pump and it's not every single time it's just whenever i know that she didn't drink enough and my boobs still feel kind of like hard i'll pump and I'll save that and put it in the fridge. At night, I don't breastfeed her. I just pump and then put it in the bottle. And she drinks three ounces every single three hours. So for me, it's been to where I breastfeed her and pump. Breastfeed her and pump. And with the haka, I save the, the breast milk. So within every single day, I've been saving, I've been storing 24 ounces at least. Around 18, 24. 18 has been the, the smallest one. The smallest amount and 24 is usually what i've been saving every single day 30 has been the most and i have like a whole like paper of like the days and i do this because it gives me motivation of how much i'm storing i'll, I'll put a video right here where how my fridge my freezer looks because there's so much milk and i need to get like a little mini freezer or something to like start storing all the milk but if you can see it has a date on the side and all the the ounces and this is where we are right now um having a paper with like all the amounts of stored milk it, it motivates me to like make more but it's not it's not to see the fridge full it's to make make me feel like oh i can i can do this like i'm i'm able to store all of this milk for my baby in the future and breast milk literally breast milk can help you with anything like if the baby has like an a pink eye like I can put that that breast milk in her eye like and it can like heal her like breast milk helps in so many ways it's not just by feeding her like if she has a rash you pour breast milk on it like if she has a cut you pour breast milk on that so it's like breast milk helps the baby in so many ways and I'm not saying that like formula babies are not good babies or whatnot but breastfeeding is such a hassle like it is so hard to breastfeed like a baby it's so tiring it's 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 honestly hard and it's like a, almost a full-time a full-time job because there's so much that when you're breastfeeding so much time is taking it's going by that i can't do so many things like i need eric's help or like the girls need to be like here sitting down with me or like waiting for me to be done because it is such a hassle and i'm not saying that breastfeeding babies are better than formula babies but i know the struggle and even if you can't at least you tried like at least give yourself that that at least you tried so it is hard it's it's really tiring for sure it's very tiring that's why i don't breastfeed Penelope at night because I'm already tired as it is and plus breastfeeding at night oh heck no I just wish for me it was like I'm breastfeeding I'm losing weight but I'm not because when you're breastfeeding you literally get so hungry 24 7 like if I want something I'll be like I'm still, I'm still craving I'm probably craving more now than when I was pregnant because of how much I'm like producing and taking out of my body and this is really tiring so like if if you don't go all year without breastfeeding like you do you but like even if you did one week of breastfeeding and that's all you could do like pop to you but i tried to push myself just because i know it's my last one so honestly that's that's what i've been doing i've been breastfeeding pumping breastfeeding pumping and within that the haka and lastly i will end this video with saying how to increase your supply which i have done all of this in my past breastfeeding experiences 
and one of the main things that i do take are pills like lactation pills there is a legendary milk that's online that i i, I believe is from austin and they're called the pump princess that there are lactation pills and the upspring milk flow from target um i believe almost all targets have it there are lactation cookies as well that i have taken you can even make your own lactation cookies i usually go to pinterest and just like look it up another thing is power pumping and if you don't know what it is you can look it up but it's mainly you pump for 20 minutes have a break of 10 minutes you pump for 10 minutes and then it's on and off on and off for an hour for two to seven days and after the seventh day you you should see a difference in your milk supply lastly what i have said is don't stress about it if you stress about not producing enough milk you won't produce more milk so try not to stress about it and if you can't produce as much milk as you can try to just figure a way on how you could just make more milk out of all of this try to just talk to a lactation counselor there there's even milk they're close to breast milk formula because that's what i used to give the girls i forgot what it was called but i'll put i'll put a picture up here that i used to like give the girls but it's so expensive and i know i know what that means and i know a lot of moms want that connection with the baby while breastfeeding and i think that's the reason why i'm doing it because it is the best way on how to connect with the baby as how moms say it and it's cheapest way and there is a lot of pros and cons to everything but i think i just want to do what i can for my baby what's the best for my baby and for me right now i think breastfeeding her is the best thing just because it's coming out of me everyone is different and i just hope everyone actually gets something out of this let me know what has helped you in the comments and what has not and let me know if anything of this worked out for you thank you so much for watching and tuning in and we'll see you on the next one bye guys